back inside the ventilation shafts, and I guess this is what we're going to be using to uh, gonna collapse and I am probably gonna have to run from acres. Whoa. It's such a horror cliche. The vent is going to give out and then I'm gonna be chased by the monster. Ah, <laughs> oh, that makes me so not want to do it. I'm probably gonna have to run through a bugger in the labyrinth. Well, here goes everything. Oh, hey, I'm all right. I wish you didn't make so much sound here in the vent, Simon. shoved inside the dun bat and now I, who knows what I'm gonna do to get out of here now I think these labs were in the trailer That was Acres making his way over here. I guess if I got or if I got injured. Huh? Wait, this isn't. Oh no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did. Am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it! The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. <coughs> There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber at Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Oh, whoa. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. 
You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? How difficult could it be, she says. Well, hopefully there's no one here. Oh, no, wait. It looks like the only door is an Omni-Tool door. So hopefully if there is something here, it will crash into that door and we'll not be able to get through. I'm seriously hoping. hoping. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, how to wear the... How to wear... The arc doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. <laughs> Painfully true. Okay, so I can't hit the button. So, uh, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. No device connected. Hmm. Let's check out this computer. What do you have to say? Documents. logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Given the... This is another philosophy thing. Given the state of the earth that it has been purged with fire and salt, I can see how people would much rather live as simulations. Probably. Maybe. But of course that also has severe ethical issues plus other things that I would rather not talk about because I don't entirely understand them. <laughs> but I'm going to at least say I agree. I'm willing to agree to that considering the circumstances. that we have in the inevitable end. What is life if it's just we keep on living? a neutral choice because then I'd be neutral for all of this <laughs> because this is this is a hypothetical situation in the very far future well about a hundred years into the future but who knows what will happen a hundred years into our future 
but I'm willing to agree. <laughs> Arc approval. I'm part of the 12% that agreed. Pain for gain. I am part of the 52% that, <laughs> that agreed. Eternity among the stars. 26%. Artificial evolution. Yeah, 26%, okay. Interesting, a lot of... There were some people that thought that us remaining, even without disease and stuff, we'd still remain human. I certainly don't think so. Yeah, so I was pretty much among the minority for constantly agreeing, but eh, meh. Alright, so <laughs> that's enough of that terminal. So how do I do this? Um, oh. Oh? What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. Okay. Can you reach the on switch? Yeah. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen. Who's that? Oh my god! It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. Mm. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, don't say that. She was my... Oh? She was nice to me. Oh? Anyway. The Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Okay. So now what? Now what? Stuff. How do we figure that out? Because I can no longer go in there. Oh, hey, there's some progress. Looks like a terminal. Uh, a rail terminal, maybe. Perhaps it has something to do with this computer here. But it says there's not a device connected. Processing. How do we do that? Oh, no, wait. Oh, hey, I was sort of on the right track. There we go. Okay. Oh, dear. Please reduce memory. Fun. 
footprint. How do you do that? Look at that, the type Soma. Dear, do I have to figure out how the system works? Oh god. Um let's see. Sim Sim is required type soma. Scan forest required system gen vegetation advanced. I think. <laughs> I don't know what it I don't know exactly. Um, okay, so the forest is required, so scan forest. and it's gonna and it's gonna just want more. System generate vegetation. That's what I need, and then but I need this soma package, which is huge. to do something to try. Okay, the lake is of, the lake is of type water and it is not as much as the river, so physics, soft physics, fluid physics, buoy physics, uh, 
Yeah, that fluid, those fluid physics, beggar. Why the hell do I need fluid physics? <laughs> water. I only have a river. Why do I need something of type water? I need a life source. I need water for Soma, for this whole Soma thing to work. Why? <laughs> <coughs> physics, which will bust it up. <gasps> this is nuts. Okay. I wish it would switch me between, the, let me switch between the scenes, but apparently it is set. 200, it starts off with 259 terabytes. I need this. And then I need some required base type Soma. Nothing but this gives it to me. Okay. So I need an atmosphere. <coughs> I need the interface scan. I need a light source. And I need water. This gives me a light source, and it's rather low. That's type, that gives me the water that I need. So does this. This gives, these will give me the light sources I need. Don't know where that atmosphere is. Oh no wait, it's right here. So I just need the light source and the water. Now these both are light sources, and the lake and the river are both water. So, logically, oh, let's see. what does sun moon require? Sun moon needs daylight and it needs heat. That's two things that I don't need, because, because the day-night cycle, um, cycle adds on a ton. Well, if I use this, I just need, well, this gives me the physics. Where are those fluid physics? Oh, those fluid physics are bad. Maybe that's right. Heat, daylight, and I need water. What does, what does this need? That needs rigid, soft, and buoy. What does the river need? Fluid, rigid, and buoy. Rigid, soft, ah, damn. <sighs> this is a puzzle of a puzzle, my gosh. <laughs> Let me get those out, let's see. So, I have the atmosphere, I have the interface scan. Oh, let me get rid of the rigid physics. I don't need this just yet. I have the generate the vegetation for the forest. I have the atmosphere it needs. Yes, that's all I need. So I need the light and I need the water. <laughs> this is getting annoying. <laughs> Please hold while I puzzle this out. If I didn't, let's see. I have the sun moon, which costs me about... Uh, 120 terabytes after that. Full. <coughs> You'd think that the sun moon cycle would be a 
a bit better because that is only 120 with slightly more terabytes required take a chunk, but River needs it. But I need the rigid and the buoy. There we go! Puzzle puzzled! I, I don't know what I was doing there for a moment. Yay! Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. So, dummy. You need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Oh. While it's being loaded. Well, you're. No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. Ah, I've just missed it. Try pausing it when Damn the dummy it. is loaded. I'm sorry, Catherine. There we go. Dummy! Run! <laughs> there we go, finally. Oh yes, God. of course. So precise. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. <laughs> so... Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Of course. I shall also have to pause because that puzzle, damn, oh damn, that, woo, <laughs> that took a long time. So, I'm going to pause here and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Until then. <laughs>